When I became a, a manager and a leader, I realized that the truth is, the job is easy. The people are not. Right. Uh, if somebody wants to be better mm -hmm. at this, mm -hmm. then you have to get smart about it. Instead of soft, we mm -hmm. call them smart. Instead of hard, we call them sharp. Professor Loredana, good morning. How are you? I'm very good, Hasabri. How are you? I'm good. You're looking very sharp and smart today. Thank you very much. Now, tell us a bit about yourself and what you do at ICLIF and ESB. So, I was born in Romania, mm -hmm. uh, but I lived in many countries. I lived in Switzerland, um, in India, in the US, in Italy, and I've been with ASB since day one. I'm very proud to say that. I'm the Associate Dean and Faculty Director for Action Learning, and I teach uh, in the ICLIF Executive Education Center. I was told at the, uh, the ICLIF Executive Education Center, you were teaching a program called the Smart Executive Toolkit Program. Mm. Can you tell us about this program? What is it about? Yeah, I'm very passionate about this, this subject. Um, it's a program that is part of the leadership and management track. Mm -hmm. And it's a program that is trying to help managers, uh, leaders, leaders in training uh, to improve on what we call smart skills. This is a very unique program designed only uh, for ASB and ICLIF, so you're not going to find it anywhere else. And in this program, I'm trying to address the, the challenges that we have in, um, in working with people, if you want. Um, the truth is that um, the more you advance in your career, uh, the more time you spend managing people, or dealing with people, yes. or working with people. Yes. So uh, if somebody wants to be better mm -hmm. at this, mm -hmm. then you have to get smart about it. Right. I can see you're very enthusiastic and very energetic when you're talking about yeah. the program. You must have spent a lot of time researching on the subject matter. Explain to us a little bit, why is this area so important to you, Professor? So you see, as a professor mm -hmm. of management, I have to teach management. I don't have to do management. I see. <laughs> but when I became a, a manager and a leader, I realized that the truth is, the job is easy. The people are not. Right. But you can't really go around and say, well, you know, the people are not easy, therefore I can't deal with this. Um, you have to learn how to be better at managing yourself, at managing others, and you have to be better at understanding the true complex nature of the human being. I don't know if you know about this, but um, the concept of soft and hard skills was, I think it came up in 1970s in the US Army. Uh, and soft skills were the skills that, that I just mentioned, the skills necessary to manage people. Right. But let me ask you this, Sabri, what is soft about managing others, dealing with your board, uh, dealing mm -hmm. with complexity of, of diversity, right? Mm -hmm. Understanding how to, to manage others, how to mm -hmm. manage up, how to manage down. There's nothing soft about it. So at ASB, we call them smart skills, because if you don't have them, you're not very smart, right? right. And same thing with, with sharp skills, which a lot of other colleagues mm -hmm. teach. Um, we used to call these skills hard skills, right? It's hard to, to learn accounting. It's hard to learn a new uh, software language. The truth is, it's not hard. And also, once you learn them, it doesn't mean that you're done. You constantly have to sharpen the skills. So that's why we call them sharp skills at ASB. So instead of soft, we mm -hmm. call them smart. Instead of hard, we call them sharp. I like this program already. Uh, Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what specific organizational issues do you hope to address by uh, conducting this program? And tell us, who should attend this program? So, <clears throat> the answer is, is very simple. Let me ask you this. Are you working with people? Yes. Does your organization have people? Always, always. Are you people? I hope so. <laughs> Therefore, you should take this program because the truth is, uh, like I said before, the more you advance in your career or the more potential you have, to take a manager role, a leadership role, you really have to learn how to manage people, how to manage yourself in this context. So I can see uh, emerging leaders, I can see leaders in training, I can see managers with high potential, pretty much anybody who needs to sharpen their smart skills, mm -hmm. if you allow that. But also what I've learned is a lot of companies approach us uh, if they have a lot of engineers or people with a technical background that now become uh, uh, managers, right. right? You have the sharp skills, but mm -hmm. now you have to get smart as well. That's right. So tell me, what impact do you think this program will have on the participants? So one of the things that I've learned by teaching this program is that a lot of people leave the program and say, I feel like I have a lot higher empathy for my colleagues. 
I understand now the importance of emotional maturity. I understand the importance of being cognitive ready. Mm-hmm. I understand the importance of, of followership, not just leadership. Um, and I think they, they leave feeling um, more equipped to manage people, to deal with people. Mm-hmm. And it turns out that the job is easy when people are easy. That sounds really great. Uh, any final words, Professor Laurie Dana, for people who might be interested to sign up for the Smart Toolkit program? Well, it's very simple. What are you waiting for? Let's get smart and sharp at ASB. 